Yo, Xbox fanboys, did you like getting fisted tonight by Sony? They were all like, Call of Duty DLC is ours, bitches. Woo! Get wrecked. What's up, people of the internet? My name is Hondro, and I am talking about the Microsoft and Sony press conferences at E3. 2015 we're gonna go over Microsoft first Microsoft came out strong announcing backwards compatibility for all your Xbox well not all of but a selected amount of your Xbox 360 games based on publisher and the best part about it is that it's playable console to console so if you can play Xbox live on your Xbox one playing a 360 game with someone that's on a 360 playing the same game that's awesome they should have had this feature at launch but i'm glad they're adding it coming this holiday for everybody next big thing they announced was the new controller the controller looks awesome it's basically a scuff controller and it's probably going to run scuff out of business <laughs> it's got four paddles on the back it's got hair triggers it's got customizable thumbsticks that you can snap in and snap out and change to whatever you want. You got a specialized D-pad. The whole thing is totally remappable as far as what the buttons do. It's pretty crazy. Very awesome. Oh, and it's also got the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. So you can use basically any headset that's compatible with any computer these days, which is awesome. It also has... The Xbox One proprietary jack still on the controller too. So you can use your Xbox One design headsets and blah, 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 blah. Then EA came out and went on forever about EA Access. It was confusing. I didn't really get it. It's like, okay, so you can have, you can play these games or for $5 a month or you can buy them at a discount. Well, why, why would I buy them if I can play them for free with this service? I didn't really get it. Maybe... Maybe it's only trials. I, I didn't bother to look it up. I don't give a shit. Fallout 4. We learned it's coming out this year. That's awesome. We are getting PC mods coming in 2016 on the console. That's badass. Starting on the Xbox One. Later, they'll be available on the PS4. Dark Souls 3. Whatever. Don't really play those games. I mean, people like them. So there you go. Rainbow Six Siege, October 16th, game coming out this year, looks pretty tight. Beta is going to be coming out in September, that's awesome. Got a, another look at the division for like the 33 in a row. Woohoo! I honestly, it's probably going to be as disappointing as Watch Dogs at this point. I, I can't picture it being awesome. I mean, it could be awesome. But I feel like it's just going to be a Watch Dogs type of thing where they've hyped it for so long and it's supposed to be this awesome game and it's going to come out and everyone's going to be like, well, that was a game, I guess. Gigantic. Some sort of animated fighting shooter-ish RPG-ish game free to play on Xbox. Cool. They went on to announce Xbox Game Preview, which allows you to download like a trial of the game for that's free to play and early access and you can judge it and pre-order and I don't know not I'll probably never use it I was really excited for rare replay coming out this August that's awesome they did a really good job with this 30 titles for $30 there's 10,000 gamer score available in this thing that's gonna be fun Plus, on top of that, they announced their pirate games, Sea of Thieves, uh, like MMO, rare RPG thing with pirates and stuff and ships and boating. Awesome. Then you've got games like Rise of the Tomb Raider. You've got, coming out this year, you've got Fable Legends. It's going to be free to play. They did their HoloLens demo, which was probably... a one of the biggest highlights besides the backwards compatibility where they displayed it on the wall and then on the table and the guy was moving the freaking Minecraft world around. He was like, let me see you. Let me get under you. Let me get a little. It blew, blew my mind. It was pretty awesome. 
big announcement with Oculus Rift partnered with Xbox. I mean, that's not like a new thing, but they're, uh, every per every Oculus Rift is coming with like an Xbox One controller, and they're working really closely with Xbox to make all sorts of games playable, which is awesome. And then they talked about Gears of War Ultimate Edition coming out this year, and then as a precursor to Gears 4, which is coming out holiday 2016, and they showed off a little demo of uh, Gears 4, but didn't really talk much about it. But Gears Ultimate Edition, I don't know, if you like Gears of War, play it. Alright, and now moving into the PS4 slate, they just went balls to the wall with as many games as you could possibly imagine. Most of them aren't coming out this year, so... But they did announce a ton of games. Started it off with Last Guardian. Never played it, but it got a big reaction. Then you had the game Horizon Zero Dawn, which was that game with like the chick and she's fighting the robots with her bow and taking them down. Hitman on PS4, beta and missions that are exclusive to the PS4. A lot of exclusives this year for the PS4. At least they said they were exclusives. I'm assuming most of them are going to be, you know, PS4 will get it first and then it'll release on Xbox One and so forth. Street Fighter V. I mean, you know, Street Fighter game. It's cool. No Man's Sky was pretty phenomenal. It was probably one of my favorite games that they announced. Giant, unbelievably massive, expansive open world where every star in the sky you could possibly imagine is the center of a solar system, which is part of a galaxy, which is part of a bigger universe. And it's all explorable and everything is awesome because Legos. No Lego game announced. Bullshit. Then they went on to talk about Dreams, which is some weird game from the guys that brought you Sackboy. Yeah, Sackboy from Little Big Planet. That dude. Yeah, this. It's a game where you. Anything is possible and you do stuff. And then your stuff meshes with other stuff. And it's how everything goes. Then they had a weird demo for Firewatch where you're a guy on a radio talking to a girl somewhere else on a radio. I'm assuming watching for fires in the forest? I don't know. Destiny. Oh, yes. My favorite game to hate. All sorts of exclusive stuff. PS4 gets everything first because fuck you, Xbox. Suck my... We're talking new weapons, new supers, new things, new armor, guns, people, bosses, missions, bitches. Yeah, yeah. And then you got Ass Squared in Creed Syndicate, which, you know, if you like Ass Squared games, then I'm sure you'll like Ass Squared in Creed Syndicate. And then they went on to show World of Final Fantasy, where you're a baby that can carry babies or you're an adult that carries babies or weird creatures that carry adults that are also babies I Final Fantasy and then they announced Final Fantasy 7 remake which everyone lost their shit for and once again Final Fantasy and then probably the weirdest part of the PlayStation conference was, I have to look at the title here, Shenmue 3. I, I don't know, the, the guy was doing Kickstarter, and then he came out on stage, and they did a countdown from 5, and when they got to 1, nothing happened. He just said one more thing and then walked off the stage. So I, I was expecting them to show some gameplay or something, and it was just like, Five, four, three, two, one. Order our game. Kickstart it. Yay. What? And then they promoted Batman Arkham Knight, which comes out in a week. Okay. Then you got Project Morpheus, which is Sony's version of VR that does virtual reality stuff, I guess. PlayStation View. 
a subscription service where you can buy individual channels and watch live TV things. Because why would you pay for cable if you can pay for cable and also PlayStation Live or I guess cancel cable and do PlayStation Live or do both and spend all the money on the stuff. Yeah. And then block three, bitches. Woo! Fuck you, Xbox. Suck PlayStation's dong. Get <laughs> <laughs> yeah the multiplayer it looked like shit didn't look fun i'll buy it for zombies though whatever disney infinity 3.0 special star wars edition for playstation yay show us battlefront and then they did they showed us battlefront they showed us the shit out of battlefront and it was awesome everyone was like and then the second best part of the Sony conference, the Uncharted 4 demo. I was laughing my ass off. God, it was hilarious. Hashtag Uncharted 4. Drake stand still. They had to restart the demo. Because whoever had the controller couldn't move. Or something. It was just a state. Drake was just standing there for like 15 seconds. And then the demo restarted and they, <laughs> they started it from the beginning. It was hilarious. <laughs> and that was how they ended the conference. The end. Here's Uncharted, I guess. <laughs> so overall, even though Sony talked about a lot more and had a lot more games and all that kind of stuff, I really think Xbox won out this E3. Personally, even though Sony has a bunch more exclusives that are coming in the future, I really think Xbox did a much better job in presenting everything that they had. They have a lot more stuff coming out this year. They didn't have any stupid, weird accidents in their show as far as I can remember. And Sony announced a bunch of games, but most of them don't come out until 2016. And they had that weird countdown thing. And then the screw up at the end with Uncharted. So it's like, come on, man. This is the biggest show of the year. Get your act together. So guys, those are my thoughts on E3. If you, I'm sure everyone has opinions on this. So leave a comment down below. And I will be looking through them. And I will pick some out. And maybe do a follow-up video to this one. Responding to some of those comments. Thumbs up if you like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy.